Hey everyone! So today I have a tutorial for all of you. If you saw yesterday's video, I'll have a link up here if you want to check it out. But I picked up some items from the Mac Philip Tracy collection. So it is a quick, short tutorial, but I thought it was a pretty look. And maybe it can inspire some of you guys if you picked up some of the same items from the collection. But it's basically just a really nice way to incorporate a lot of colors into a simple look. But if you want to check it out, then just keep on watching. I started by applying MAC eyeshadow and charcoal brown into my crease to add a little definition. I didn't want it to look like I applied color, more so that there was just a noticeable natural shadow to my eyes. I then blended that out with a fluffy brush. To start the gradient liner, I took MAC's Blue Peep Fluid Line on a small tapered liner brush and placed that on the inner half of my lash line. These liners do require a bit of building for a more opaque coverage. Next, I added Royal Wink Fluid Line with that same liner brush to the outer half of my lash line, making sure to overlap those colors. Again with that same liner brush, I finished the gradient by creating a winged or cat eye shape using the Black Track Fluid Line. The great part about this look is you can make the liner as thick or as thin as you'd like. Just apply the gradient aspect to your go-to liner shape. To help the colors blend together more seamlessly, I went in with a larger angled brush and cleaned up the edges. Mainly focusing on making the lines smoother, as well as reapplying the colors and overlapping them until they've blended together. Max Black Black Chromographic Pencil was my eyeliner of choice, and I smudged that into my lash line with an angled brush. I applied a coat of Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara to my upper and lower lashes. As a contour, I used the Sephora Contouring 101 Face Palette. Starting by mixing the two lighter shades together, I'll apply those as you would a regular contour. After that, I'll take the darker contour shade and focus that at the very back of my cheeks to add more depth. I used Tarte's Amazonian Clay Blush in Celebrated as a blush, and Hourglass's Ambient Lighting Powder in Diffused Light as an all-over highlight. To finish off the look, I lightly bounced No Faux Pas lipstick from the Philip Tracy collection onto my lips and blended it across with my fingertip for a subtle stain of color. And that's pretty much it. I hope you enjoyed. And that completes the look! Of course, if you'd like to check out a full review on the products from the MAC Tracy collection, I'll have a link up here so you can click it and check that video out. I'll also have a full list of products used down in the description, as well as listed on my website, modernairsblog.com. If you enjoy seeing tutorials from me, be sure to thumbs up this video so I will know. And if you have any look or tutorial suggestions, feel free to leave them in the comments below. If you'd like to give me a follow, I will have my social media listed here, as well as down in the description. I really hope that you enjoyed this blue winged liner gradient look and I hope that you're having a fantastic day and thank you so much for watching.